Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're expanding our series for power cord protection. There will be some bonus tips for protecting holiday decorations, but for now, let's start by focusing on how to secure power strips. I'm going to begin each step with a little animation of what needs to be done, followed by the actual demonstration of how I build mine. In this case, we're starting with this 3-inch PVC drain pipe, and we're going to prepare it for the exact length we need to cover our power strip. After we have the right length of pipe, we're going to make a notch right along the top that allows us to look straight down inside to see all the plugs on the power strip. There's an added benefit to making this power strip case that I didn't point out at the beginning. You'll notice on this particular power strip that I'm getting ready to cover up, there happens to be an on-off switch. By placing it inside this case, it makes it much more difficult for the power strip to accidentally get turned off. There's two parts to a test fit before moving along. One is making sure that it fits inside the tube, and the other is making sure that if you pull on the cord, it is not able to be pulled out of the socket. Now that we have the body of the case built, we have one more piece to alter. We're going to take a 3 inch end cap and we're going to drill a hole right in the middle about the same size as the notch that we cut in the pipe. We're then going to carve the notch all the way to the side and down so that it makes it wide open all the way to the middle. At the beginning, I mentioned that I was expanding upon a series, and that's because I have two previous videos that I did for securing extension cords and inline connections like the type you'll find when you're putting up holiday decorations. I'm going to be using PVC cement to secure the unmodified end cap, but for the one that we made the notch in, we have one more step to do. The last thing I'll be doing, other than decorating it, is drilling two holes in the cap and through the body of the case so that I can secure it with a zip tie. I've come up with several different ways and places where I could use one of these power strip cases, but if you have some other thoughts, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. When decorating PVC, I do always like to make sure to put a good coat of primer on there first before I start throwing down the spray paint, and then when you're done, just to protect that lovely paint you put on there, it's always nice to put a good coat of shellac or some kind of sealant like that on top as well.
With putting up holiday decorations, there are some additional reasons you might want to be protecting your power cords. And I am using some of my old tips and tricks from those previous videos and some new ones to help secure mine. I have found that the inline cases are great for protecting your cords for a lot of reasons, and I use zip ties to try to help bring them up off the ground even more. In addition to that, we've had some problems with animals gnawing at wires, and a little addition of a pool noodle and some chicken wire can fix that. Hey, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my video. If you enjoyed it, got something out of it, or merely powered through to the end, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. I'd also love it if while you're here, you go ahead and subscribe and click on that bell so you'll get notifications for future videos. Feel free to check out my playlists for similar and all kinds of other videos. And as always, please feel free to come on back in the future because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.